The British government has formed a special task force to try to find a vaccination for coronavirus. But the country's chief scientific advisor has warned a solution is likely to be many months away. With the tightest possible biosecurity, scientists around the world are urgently trying to make a vaccine against the coronavirus. 70 possible candidates are in development. Next week, a British prototype vaccine will start tests in 500 volunteers. The Oxford team is so confident that it'll work that they'll start manufacturing doses even before the trials have finished. So while the trials are going on, we realise that we really have to start manufacturing. Manufacturing at risk, because of course if the vaccine fails, nobody will want the vaccine doses. But we're hoping to have about a million doses maybe by September ready for deployment. That's a big ask, but it's not impossible. And that's our ambition today. Three vaccines are already in clinical trials. Two in the United States, one in China. In Britain, the government has launched a vaccine task force to speed up the development and manufacture here. At the number 10 news briefing, the chief scientific advisor told me the government's keeping its options open. Just to put some, again, realism on vaccine development, uh, each single project does not have a high probability of success. So although everyone goes out with great enthusiasm and we hope they work, it's never the case that you know you've got a vaccine that's going to work. But the vaccine could come from anywhere. GSK and Sanofi have announced they're doing a vaccine together, which is fantastic news. Most of the big companies are doing vaccines. This is going to come from somewhere. We just need to back lots of horses at the moment and to make sure we're in a great position to access a vaccine when it occurs. Vaccines are usually tested in three stages of clinical trials. In phase one, the jab is given to a small number of healthy volunteers to confirm there aren't serious side effects. In phase two, several dozen volunteers are given different doses and perhaps boosters to ensure it triggers a good immune response. And finally, in phase three, it's given to several hundred people to see if it protects them against the virus. Given the urgency, the last two stages could be run in parallel to speed up development. But one senior scientist warned even that won't save us from grim months ahead. The recent estimates, even from the chief scientific officer, is that after this wave, which could kill, you know, we could see 40,000 deaths by the time it's over. But, um, we could only have maybe 10, 15 percent of the population infected or covered. And so the idea of herd immunity would mean another five, six waves, maybe. Government scientists are working on the principle that widespread deployment of a vaccine is still 12 to 18 months away. And until then, social distancing of some form will be needed to suppress the virus. Thomas Moore, Sky News.